Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Alyssa. I'm Garrett. And we are the Leffersons. But this isn't about the Leffersons. This is about me <laughs> because I have two boxes to unbox today from Bippity Boppity Boxes. I have the Bippity Box and the Wizard's Vault Box. I also got a box, and if you have not watched our recent Bibbidi unboxing, we will leave that linked up above and down below. But Garrett, actually, if you noticed, last last month, he didn't have a box to open. That is because his Wizard's Vault got lost in the mail, and the wonderful ladies at Bibbidi were like, do you want us to send it right now, or do you want us to wait until next month? And we thought it would be fun to wait until this month and do a double unboxing all for Garrett. I know that you guys have been waiting for this day. Some of you may be wondering what's the difference between a wizard's vault and a bippity boppity box. Well, a wizard's vault is based around the Harry Potter world, both the books and the movies, whereas the, <laughs> got it, bippity boppity box is Disney based. So it's about the, from the parks, it's from the movies, it's from the whole Disney universe, Star Wars, Marvel, yada, yada, yada. They're technically both from the company Bippity, and uh, these are to your preferences. So... Yes. So you fill out a whole questionnaire of all the different things that you like, and this is actually Garrett's first Disney box. But we're not going to do that one first. No. We're we are going to do the Harry Potter one first because that is technically his last month's yep. box. So we're, we're getting so caught So March, up. I guess, right? Sure. Yes, we're already, we're already in May. Is Time is just like flying by. I've got, I'm repping Garrett today. Can you tell? I've got my Baymax ears on. I'll leave them linked down below. I always link my ears down below and I'm wearing my shirt that says, in Disney we wear ears, which we're not in Disney, but while we open Disney boxes, we wear ears. <laughs> I'm dressed like a principal because I had to go to work today. <laughs> so, <laughs> but let's start with the Wizard's Vault. The Wizard's Vault box is awesome because it has all sorts of Harry Potter references, the Deathly Hallows. You have the Sorting Hat, Wingardium Leviosa, <laughs> and all sorts of good stuff. I am currently starting book six and I am working my way through and watching the movies as well, making Alyssa watch them. While he is opening this box, we should tell you that we are actually Bibby brand reps. So if you want to save $7 off your first Wizard's Vault or your first Disney Bibbidi Bobbidi box, you can use promo code The Leffersons to save $7 off. And actually, oh, this was your birthday month. <laughs> this, this is from April? Okay. Happy birthday. <laughs> So on the top of it is the packing list and it says Alohomora and it has all the details and the prizes. We'll go over that later. We'll go over that later. But on the top is the sticker that says Wizard's Vault and it's kind of like the wax stamp that they use to seal letters. Ooh. So let's go ahead. I don't know what to expect. Garrett has opened a Wizard's Vault before. If you wanted to watch his first Wizard's Vault unboxing, we'll leave that link down below as well. So right off the top, I'm seeing some Ravenclaw stuff. So part of whenever you fill out your preferences is you choose your house. And I am a Ravenclaw, obviously. <laughs> um, oh, but cool. it is a Ravenclaw lanyard. Maybe I, should, I could use this at work. I can yeah, put my you ID should on actually. It. That's really cool. And it has a raven, that's a sticker inside of there. And then it has the raven on there. Now, some people are gonna say, well, the raven claw mascot or the raven claw animal is actually an eagle. If you squint really hard, the, the <laughs> raven turns into an eagle. <laughs> um, but it is the breakaway design on the back. So if you pull hard enough, it will come apart. This is like a really sturdy, this is like higher quality than like the Disney parks one. It says it's from BioWorld. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take this to school and rep um, my Ravenclaw pride, even if I just <laughs> hang it in my office somewhere. Yeah, I feel like you now need like Harry Potter pins to put on this too, that would be cool. Up next is a, is a <gasps> tin and it's a 550 piece Marauders map. So if you don't know what the Marauders map is, shame on you because it's amazing. <laughs> Um, but this is kind of, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> sorry. It's a, oh my God, I can't, I can't explain it what it is. <laughs> but the outside of the box is a preview of what the puzzle is. And I think that is what the whole puzzle is altogether. Um, let me look at the size That's here. perfect for right now because we're quarantined in the house. That'll give him something to do. We do love doing puzzles. 
And then on the, I just took a chance to, to actually look at it. It says in the middle there, it's I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. And it gives the measurements. This is 16 by 19. That's a pretty good size yeah. puzzle. Yeah. I'm going to do this, glue it, and put it in my office. Okay, but let's also just talk about how hard this is going to be. It because will be Because it's okay. like all the same color. That's that's gonna be hard. And I like this tin too. But 500 pieces is not that bad. Normally we do like a thousand piece puzzles, so it'll be a little bit easier. I'm gonna keep this tin. Tin. The tin is nice. Yeah. You can like put things in it. That's the purpose of a tin. <laughs> All right, next item I'm pulling out is. <laughs> that's perfect for you. It is wrapped up. Let me pull it out real quick. It's a wand. Now. I do have my own wand that I got in the parks. Alyssa calls it a stick, but I do have a wand in my office. You got a magic wand that does the magical thing. I do, but this is the Hermione Granger wand pen <laughs> that I'm going to have to uh, use in my office. So let me That's take it perfect. off the backer card. That and I keep so on saying fun. I'm gonna take all this to school because our house is firmly in the Disney universe. <laughs> there is no room for Harry Potter in our household right now because we only live in a two bedroom apartment. When we live in a bigger place and you have your little oh. man cave, oh, it's gonna you can be... have a Harry Potter whatever, whatever you want. So it is a wand with some leaves on uh, the wand handle <laughs> <laughs> and just a simple pin at the end of it and... <laughs> Garrett is a huge uh, pen collector, in case uh, you didn't know that. Not collector, I'm a, I'm a picky pen person. I enjoy fountain pens, <laughs> I enjoy gel pens, I appreciate the good pencil every once in a while, a Palomino if you know what I mean. Um, but I'm not a pen collector. That, that makes it sound like I spend a ton of but money like, on pens. But like you enjoy pens. Like you enjoy getting them. I enjoy really. writing with them. Yeah, yeah. That's fun. All right, That's I'm going to keep digging through all the foofies. There's a big box over here. I'm going to save that for last. <laughs> but, oh, it's a, oh. Yay! It is a, I can tell just from the packaging, it's a Wishes candle. Because I just is, got one in my Vividy box. This Yay. is the Wishes Candle Company Dark Forest. Wishes Candle Company is a small shop, which if you order through Bibbidi, you will most likely also get a few small shop items and, and also like parks items, which is just amazing. So I'm gonna bring it in here so you can see the Dark Forest logo. And in typical Wishes Candle Company fashion, there is a green glitter on top. And what would you classify that scent Oh, as? wow. It smells like a bathroom. Yeah, like it's, a it's like clean. soap. It smells very clean, but it's it's more of a manly clean. Here's it what smells we'll do. like your shampoo, like kind of like the stuff that you use to bathe with. Like it kinda... I do bathe, people. <laughs> I do. I promise. Uh, I'll put it the. It smells really good. I'll put the scent profile right there. It's very um, clean. I like it. It is clean. They are hand poured. And that what's is... inside of them? Do you remember? I think there's a pin, a, a, apparently. So apparently I'm gonna get a Harry Potter pin out of this. I don't know, that's funny though, because what do you get inside of ones that are not Disney themed? Do you get Harry Potter I don't pins? No. If you guys know, you should comment down below. This actually smells really, really good. It smells, you know what it smells like? It smells like the Basin Shop. I'm over it because I just saw the other <laughs> box. Okay. So the big oh box. Oh my gosh. Is a goblet not a goblet of fire rather it's a decorative go okay i'm just gonna hold on be right back <laughs> that is so cool and it is lined with with uh i could definitely you can drink, can out, drink of out of that yep. all right <laughs> that's the first thing we go to but Garrett really and you like really enjoy drinking out of fun looking things. Yeah. So this is uh, a goblet. Uh, and let me just soak it in for a second. And it has the crest of Hogwarts where it has all the houses, Gryffindor, Slytherin, uh, Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw. And it says Draco Dormens Nunquam Titulandus. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I think it's Latin for something. Uh, but it has, really? it is, 
It has these jewels around the bottom and then all the way at the bottom. And the inside, um, it is stainless steel lined, so you could drink out of this. And it would stay cold or hot for a decent amount of time. Maybe on our next live stream, <laughs> this will be my, my chalice of choice, if you will. That is actually really cool, and that is like so Garrett style. You've like been dying for like like the German steins and oh, like yeah. things like that. Like you just really like that kind of style of decorative cups. I'm in. That is really like cool. It. And I wow. think that's it is for that the it? box. Yeah, we gotta keep going. Should I do the packing slip this time? <laughs> good luck doing it as good as I do. <laughs> okay. The first item, Wishes Candle Co. Eight ounce candle, Harry Potter inspired dark forest, retails for $20. The Harry Potter decorative goblet Hog Hogwarts retails for $35. Actually, that's not a bad price for that. The Harry Potter Mortimer's Map Jigsaw Puzzle retails for $18.99. It's the Marauder's Map. Marauder's. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. The Harry Potter Ravenclaw Lanyard retails for $12. And the Harry Potter wand for Miney Granger retails for $9.99, bringing your total retail value to $95.98. And I don't think we told you what this retails for. I believe it retails for $89.99. We will put the actual price here if we did get it wrong, but I believe that's what it retails for. What was your favorite item in this box, Garrett? I'm ready to do the puzzle. I want to play the <laughs> puzzle. I want to frame it. I'm moving my office and I want to decorate it. Yeah, but I, like I feel like everything that you got, you could literally transport to your office. Yep. Which is kind of nice because we are like acquiring a lot of things to keep in here, so you can just move some of the things out. It is time for a bippity boppity box. I'm gonna wave my magic wand, and it's gonna appear right between us right now. Ugh. <laughs> See, man. Now this is the ultimate magic box. Ultimate. Yes, that means that it is the highest price point that retails for $119. There are lots of bibbidi-bobbidi price points, as low as $10 a month all the way up to $120. So you should get at least that value of what you paid. Now, the majority of what we've gotten has been tuned towards the female. So I'm interested to see what they put in here that's leaning towards the... Uh, the male side of yeah. things, I guess you could say. Yeah, um, it's very true. So we're this gonna. This is his first Disney box. I'm so excited for you. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> Buckle up, people. Yay! Happy birthday! They must have changed both of the boxes to say happy birthday. All right. So starting off is the spoiler as always, uh, but I will we put won't that look away at that for now. And there is glitter on top. And, and there's also like these little like, like little, goofy guys little goofy guys on there. I haven't seen those before. Those are cute. All right, so let me. So I already see. Oh boy. A massive red box, and if you don't oh know what that means, gosh. that means there's a Jim Shore in there. Uh, so we're gonna hold off on that, and I'm gonna dig around on the other side, and I'm gonna pull out. Ooh. A bifold wallet. It's a Captain America already. Let me take it out of the the goods. <laughs> so you can also put in your preferences, like if you would like to have Marvel in your Disney box, or if you'd like to have Star Wars in your Disney box. So he did obviously mark Marvel, and I feel like you also marked that you really liked Captain America as like one of your favorites. Yeah, I like his style. He's he's like the original Avenger. <laughs> um, so here. I want to walk you through this. Oh, that's a nice wallet, actually. So this looks like the Captain America from later in the series, and it has, start on the back here, it has like four different uh, uh, materials. So it has like this leather, and then this kind of canvas, and this darker brown leather, but then you flip it over and it has the red, white, and blue with the shield in the middle. It's actually really nice. Yeah, I like it's that like detail. It's really nice quality. And then on the inside, it's just a basic black. It holds, looks like five cards. And then, regrettably, they didn't put any money in it. Um, <laughs> Darn. Just, just, just some desiccant. So. Darn it. Next time. Next time. But no, that's cool. Like e even just as a, like a display. Yeah. Because uh, you got, okay, guys are kind of picking. You can put it in your office. <laughs> exactly. 
Guys, when it comes to wallets, like you find your wallet and you just stick with it until it like literally falls apart. Yes. So yes. But I do but like this that. could also be like your Disney wallet. My that you Disney bring, wallet. That you bring to Disney. But we already have a Disney purse. Why would I need a Disney wallet? <laughs> because you still wear a wallet, even though I'm carrying a bag. I'm carrying a bag. <laughs> so the next thing that I see, I'm gonna wiggle it out of here, Ooh. is a shirt. Have we gotten clothing before from Bippity? I don't think I have because it's not really in my preferences, but I, we did put it in there for you. Ooh. I'm okay with this. <laughs> it is the Moss Isley Cantina on Tantu Tatooine. So we have been to Oga's Cantina. Oga's Cantina in uh, the Galaxy's, Galaxy's Edge. Edge. I'm losing my mind right now. <laughs> That's cool. And again, this is kind of low key. It kind of looks like a, like a Grand Canyon shirt. Yeah, it like actually, at, yeah. At, at, at a glance. And that's kind of what I kind of like is the low key Disney stuff yes. or the low key like locations. But this is also perfect because you really don't have a lot of Star Wars shirts. Mm -mm. And when we go to Galaxy's Edge, like he literally wears the same like one Star Wars shirt the entire time that BB-8 one that you have. Now, the <laughs> other thing of this, this is uh, from B. This is from their brand. Oh my gosh, really? So yeah, this wow. is from B by Bibbity. So this is a custom brand. Oh, I didn't from, know that they did that. Uh, Bibbity that I you won't see other people in the park with this. You can't no, get this in the park. That is really cool. Yeah. Interesting. Because if you didn't know, Bibbity also has a clothing line, which is it's mostly like leggings and things like that. But wow, really cool. I was gonna be really disappointed as I was digging through this if there wasn't a pin because <laughs> I'm like I love pins, and there is one all the all the way on the bottom. And I dug it out. I don't know what it is yet. I just took it out of the oh. bag. So, oh, this is cool. Oh, that's so it's really an open cool. edition Space Mountain Intergalactic Exploration pin. So you have the silhouette of Space Mountain, kind of a retro Mickey in a like a space suit i've never seen that pin no. before and I, I was just looking at a bunch of photos from a plane that got to fly over disney and it's completely empty and you could see space mountain and oh it's oh it was just one so of you cool. garrett's favorite rides is space mountain and that is in his preferences too yes. like space mountain space mountain merch space mountain with the christmas overlay <laughs> is my happy place yes. we uh went on it like six times whenever we were there we'll it leave the link the right here best <laughs> thing ever yes we went to the christmas party and it was still going whenever we went back for christmas time yeah so if you're wondering if they do overlays over the week of christmas Christmas, they, they do. do. <laughs> so a little bit better off the backer card. Um, and the Space Mountain is real shiny. And then the back is just a real nice shiny back that's silver. It's actually a really decent sized pin. It is. I like this. That is really cool. And if you didn't watch our last Bibbity box, my Bibbity box, I also got an attractions pin. And we talked about how we wanted to really like build our attractions collection with some of our favorite attractions. And that's perfect. Oh, They're like reading our minds. There's still more stuff oh. down oh. there. It looks like it's another lanyard. Fun. Similar to my... Oh, oh, it yeah. also looks like a bio world one. It is a Thor <laughs> lanyard. We also put Thor in your preferences. So here is, so the, the little medallion on it is of Thor's hammer. Uh, it has a name, but it's escaping my mind right now. But then on the actual lanyard, it's like his armor and it leads up to red. So when you're wearing it, it kind of looks like you have Thor's armor yeah. on. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool. That is pretty cool. And it has the, this little sticker inside of there as well. You could have a different lantern for almost every day of the week. I, I with your with your Disney ones too. Every day you should just oh, wear man. a different lanyard to school. Okay. I, I I'm trying. I'm the labels on the bottom. I have know. to do it this time. This is a huge box. It's the size face. of my head. Actually, it's bigger than my head. You will need my my knife. Let me get all the. This I gonna, peeked because I'm allowed to peek. This time you are. Allowed. And you're gonna like it. Of course I'm gonna like it. It's probably Eeyore. Why probably, do you think it's Eeyore? He's probably being Eeyore-tastic. <laughs> they do have a lot of Eeyore Jim Shores out there and you don't have any no, Eeyore Jim Shores except for except for this little guy that we got in a uh, in a swap box, a snow globe swap box. He's our only Eeyore Jim Shore. You're gonna, I'm trying not to look. You're gonna have to close, we're gonna have to do the exact same thing we did with mine. Okay. You're gonna have to close your eyes. 
No, don't close it. Oh. It's bad luck. Bad luck, luck. It's sorry. Bad luck, I gave it to you open. Okay, you've got to close your eyes. Okay. And I'm going to situate it for you. Don't peek. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Don't peek. <laughs> I'm already freaking out. Don't peek. Don't peek. I'm going to show the camera first. Don't okay. peek. Don't peek. Don't peek. Okay, peek. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> and it's glorious. Let me take this off of him. That is amazing. So uh, let's start at the front with his just, his eyes, even though they look sad, are like smiling. Yeah. And he has his Easter basket and he has these wonderful ears and the little detail that's on like all of the yours that we've seen, but check out his little cotton tail oh instead of his regular <laughs> Eeyore just tail. So funny. That's so cute. <laughs> this is me. That is adorable. So in your box, we got another spring one, didn't we? We did, but I'm not going to show it right now. You got to watch the video if you oh, haven't watched it. It's adorable. It's adorable. We got another Winnie the Pooh one. So now we have two oh. like Easter themed gym shores. That is amazing. Uh, it's called Eeyore Cottontail. <laughs> so oh, this is awesome. That is adorable. I'll take wow. this to my office too. Oh, that's so fun. And it's, I just can't get it's over big how big one. it is. Let me just show you like, here's our Tiana one. <laughs> Look at Eeyore. She could ride Eeyore. Oh my goodness. Like so big. Wow. All right. So let's go through the... Oh, the spoiler alert. I need all I need all my things clean. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... The spoiler alert. All right, Alyssa, start us off. We are starting off with the Disney Traditions by Jim Shore. Easter Eeyore, Eeyore Cottontail, retailing for $55. $55. <laughs> Next is the Star Wars Moe's Isley Cantina. A tattooing shirt retailing for $24. $24. Next is the Captain America wallet with chrome weld patch retailing for $28. $28. And the Marvel Thor suit up lanyard retails also for $12. That's a decent sized price for a lanyard. Also for like a really sturdy lanyard like that. Agreed. Bio World, good job. And the Disney Parks Authentic Trading Pin Space Mountain retails for $9.99. Which brings the total retail price to... $128.99. So we are definitely getting our value right there. Preach! Oh, that is amazing. What was your favorite item? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, They're all good in their own ways. Yeah. Um, the, this is adorable, <laughs> and this is cool, and this is special, and this is just neat, and and this is exclusive. I they're all good. They're all good. My favorite item is. I actually really like the pen. Agreed. The pen was like a really good find. Also, because I've never seen it before, it must be a newer one. I don't know. Awesome. Well, how was your double unboxing? Exhausting. I need a nap. Ah, oh, the all so many birthday gifts. It, yes. I, I didn't know my birthday was going to keep going into May. <laughs> Thank you, Bippity Boppity Box. Yes, that was so amazing. Thank you, ladies, so much. Yes. We are so happy to be brand reps for you guys. Mm -hmm. And if this hasn't shown you that you need to be a Bippity subscriber, we will leave our entire playlist down below of all of our other boxes. We also have unboxed some lower tiers if you're wanting to see like something that is not priced as high as $120. Since we are brand reps and if you want to save $7 on your first box, use code the Leffersons when you check out. Let them know where you found Bibbity Boppity Awesomeness. <laughs> and uh, and yeah. that code is good for any Bibbity Box, yes. whether it's Wizard's Vault or uh, Bibbity Boppity Boxes. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up for Garrett's birthday and double unboxing. In May. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite item was or let us know what you got in either your Wizard's Vault or your Bibbity Boppity Box this month. If you decide to subscribe, also leave a comment down below. We would love to know. We we get super excited when someone's yeah. like, I subscribed because of you guys. We're like, yeah, you're going to love it. Subscribe to our channel for more Disney content. Don't forget to hit that notification bell icon so you never miss another video from us. And that's pretty much it. We'll see you guys later. Bye. See you later.